we were shocked by the physicality, by the by everything here. And uh, but some teams could melt down. We didn't. We played three great quarters. We cut the gap to two, having the momentum. The only thing that I would underline because I feel that I'm proud because we played hard. The three offensive rebounds we gave on free throws, guys, you cannot do this at, at this level. And, uh, and we let them push us. And this is something that we have to work. We have a lot of rookies for this level and uh, they felt what it means playing here against one of the top three teams in Euroleague. But I go home with very good feelings because we play to win. So with that start, to play to win, I believe it's a big thing. Uh, the game uh, lasted for two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, how strange is that about overtime? I don't know. It uh, was a very physical game. A lot of contacts, a lot of hard contacts, a lot of instant replay. I could challenge every, basically, if I had 50 challenge, I would use 50 challenge. I didn't understand some calls, but I believe that, again, I take the good of these things because there is a lot of good things. As you mentioned, you're proud uh, because of that comeback, uh, especially against a team like Olympiakos, which is very physical. Uh, can you be in particular, what things are you proud mostly about uh, this team today and what answers did it give for the rest of the season? Um, so, we scored six points in the first uh, quarter. We missed eight, eight layups. We missed five free throws. We turned over the ball like kids and um, this could kill any team. They were playing good, hitting trees at the end of the buzzer and, and everything, but we found uh, a way to function and this is something uh, that is a great value. Sometimes coaches has the, the tendency to over-evaluate their impact, you know. So we play bad basketball, but we play with passion, with heart, with uh, desire. And I take this more in, as a more important thing than playing, executing well, because we don't have to forget that there is another team on the court that forges mistakes, and they are very good in forcing you to make mistakes. I just want to talk about the end of the game when all the Jalga just jumped, bench, uh, jumped uh, because of the Costas Papa Nicolau episode where he might have flopped. Uh, would you like to see it to spark maybe a, uh, this maybe to spark a change in how the video assistant referee system works? I don't have an answer now. I'm still with the mindset of the game and. Uh, was a very tough game to officiate because we started the game trying to be physical. They call us three offensive fouls. You know, like Biras is, uh, I don't know, Shaquille O'Neal. Come on, and then uh, you lose your confidence. And they they didn't make one foul in the first quarter, I believe. And then I see a 43 free throws for them. Wow, something was lost in translation, but. I don't know. I, I'm not smart enough now to tell you what to change, believe me. David, you're just looking plainly at uh, offensive stats as you're having a pretty good start to the season. Uh, did you expect this kind of a jump for him as a rookie to the EuroLeague level? He can be better. He can be better. He's missing free throws. He's a shooter. He cannot miss free throws. He can be better. He played... Uh, w he was brave. And uh, he didn't play like a rookie. 